position. Well, hey, everybody, welcome in to talk about Watches Live. Tonight, it's our pleasure to welcome Bruno Mali. And this is a very exciting brand. A lot of you guys already know they're a major designer brand. They've been around about 80 years. And they called us about uh, five or six weeks ago, said they were interested. And we, of course, were thrilled at the call. And tonight is the first of what we look forward to being many shows with Bruno Mali. Now, of course, they're legendary for uh, shoes and leather goods and so on. But they actually make some very beautiful watches, as you're about to see. And by the way we're not just talking about fashion watches some of these are watch guy watches especially that 31 jewel with the offset sweep second now for those of you who are new and I know there's a lot of you because of our recent contest and by the way if you haven't joined in on that contest you should because somebody is going to win an exam a, a uh, Alexander 7750 uh, so uh, look into that but uh, for those of you who are new a very special welcome to you guys and here's how the show works off to the uh, the side of the border of the image you're watching you are going to see a link and all you have to do is click that and all of the content of tonight's show with the final special show pricing a lot of this tonight for example being exclusive to talk about watches guaranteed lowest price in the US it's active right now so you don't have to wait for the presentation you can go check it out obviously we want you to see the presentation but some of this is going to be limited quantity so so uh, for those of you who are used to it just click on the link and head on over there now, before we get into tonight's show, I want to go over a few things. First of all, if you haven't yet joined our email list, please do so. It's free, and we promise we're not going to spam you. We don't like spam either. We're going to send out basically one email a day, and you get deals of the day. You're going to get news and information, and also access by being on that list to the closed group on Facebook. Now, again, you don't have to participate in that, but why wouldn't you? Because it's free, and they'll give you a great reason why. They get the information ahead of everybody else, even ahead of the basic email list. So there's every reason for you to be in there. There's discussion, and people share images and movies and so on. Plus, you get the specials ahead of everyone else. And in a limited quantity situation, sometimes that can make or break. So please join us. And again, when you are on our email list, just look for that. And uh, there'll be a link in pretty much any email, and then you follow that. And once you're accepted, you are good to go. By the way, just so you know, your email is safe with us, and we never sell, we never share the email list. So, again, there's every reason to sign up, and we hope that you do. Another thing you should be doing is following us on social media. Now, of course, you're familiar, obviously, if you're watching this, with Facebook Live or YouTube Live. And indeed, our show TAW Live shows on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. But there's other things you can follow as well. For example, you can follow us on Twitter, you can follow us on Instagram, and you can certainly follow us on Google+. So pretty much your favorite social media, join. Obviously, it's free, and we'll keep you guys updated there, and we look forward to having you along for the ride. So one other thing I'll mention very quickly, and that is interest-free financing. Now, we do that through PayPal credit, and it's really easy. Basically, you just go to the final checkout page. You've made your selections, and you're checking out, and you'll have an option to use PayPal credit. And once you qualify, you have six months of nothing down and no interest and no payments. Now, that's even more flexible than the traditional, what you think of as the, uh, the six pay program, which is a very rigid six payments out over time. And the first one has to be down. And all right, we don't do any of that. Now, if you want to do that, that's fine. That's up to you. But once you qualify, you can divide it up by six if you want or skip a month or double down on a month or whatever. So it's a way to make interest-free financing extra flexible. And as long as the balance is paid out by the due date, there is no interest charge whatsoever. And it really takes some of the things that would be a bit more expensive and makes them accessible for all of us. So please do check that out. So with all that being said, let's get underway and let's check out the world of Bruno Mali. So we're going to now get into Bruno Mali for the next few minutes. And I, for one, am thrilled to have such a, a call brand on the show and to lend his expertise. Uh, Shimmy, joining us live from New York City. Shimmy, thanks for joining us. I appreciate that, man. Tim, thank you. Long-time admirer. Long-time admirer of talking about watches. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm, we're, we're thrilled to have you guys. Uh, I guess to start with the, the, the obvious, how did you become, and let's do two things. How did you become involved with Bruno Mali and also a little bit of background with the brand? Absolutely. You know, my company, TW Watch, has been in business for over almost two decades now. We have a great stable of watch brands. When we wanted to add another brand, we started looking around. We came across Bruno Mali, which is currently owned by the Marquis brand, Marquis brand, uh, Marquis Group. They have 80 years, Bruno Mali has 80 years of history in the shoe business, footwear business. It started in Bologna, Italy, the Mali family, Bruno, two of his siblings. 
When we looked at that, and when we looked at what we do from the watch business, and the craftsmanship, and what happens when you make a shoe, and how much effort is put into it, and 80 years of developing a brand, a brand globally, we said, you know what, this is actually real synergy to what we do in the watchmaking business. You know, the, the time and effort, and the, and the, and the uh, effort that's put into making movements and, and watches, say this is something that from a brand recognition, from a real family you know, effort, uh, we really want to become a part of it. So a couple of years back, we joined up with Bruno Mali. We started making watches for them, and the uh, synergies and the collaboration couldn't have been better. Well, Bruno Mali, if, if memory serves, did not begin as a uh, as a watch brand. Or am I, I wrong in that? I, I still think of them as the, the shoe company. Exactly. I mean, for over 80 years, they've been doing men's shoes, ladies' shoes. They've had celebrities wearing them all over the world for many, many different, many decades. Um, and they really are, you know, the creme de la creme of the shoe wear, the shoe, shoe and footwear business. Uh, we wanted to take that brand recognition, we wanted to take that quality and craftsmanship and say, hey, let's turn that into shoes. Let's make that real synergy between shoes and watches. And you know what? When people are seeing that at the real Italian levels, starting with the tanneries, bringing you know, the focus into both what you're wearing from the shoes, from your belts, from your watches, bring that Italian craftsmanship onto the leathers, marry that into the Swiss craftsmanship in terms of the movements, then you have a real, real, real powerhouse in terms of the time that we're using. Uh, one of the things that struck me, having had a chance to uh, obviously view the, the, the collection here at Black Rabbit Nashville, is the 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 approach on the one hand you can clearly see the influence in in my view from the the italian side of things that the artistry is there the color the fashion forward concept but at the same time you guys seem to have been building for uh watch guys and watch girls there's a real sense of a uh, of a genuine a real wristwatch not an excuse absolutely you know the entire line is made of Italian leathers and Swiss movements. So when you take those two together, you really satisfy the best of both worlds. You have that fashion, you have the great craftsmanship of the Italian leathers, you know they're gonna last forever. And then the same thing we all know about the Swiss movements. We're not gonna use anything that's subpar for our watches. You take those two together, you add in some flair, you add in some design, you make some fantastic looking watches. That I, I, between you and me, Tim, I don't see any brands that are really taking both the influences of the Swiss watchmaking and the Italian craftsmanship in terms of the leathers and other design elements and putting it together the same way Bruno Mali and the CWI is doing today. Which obviously plays into into one of the advantages that you guys are going to have, and and I view that with uh, the, several of the Italian brands that we work with. I, I think the fact that they use color in such a, a, an exciting way, and they're designed beautifully, and they're vibrant and interesting, uh, that's an advantage I think to the more staid, uh, classic part of the industry. Uh, this is still not that you guys don't do classics. We're going to get into some of those today, but uh, there is there does seem to be a a, a real vibe of the. Uh, the designer excitement while at the same time building at the watch guy level of craftsmanship that right. I feel that the collector is going to love Bruno Mali. So, Shimmy, to get this segment underway, let's talk about uh, some of the practical stuff. Let's talk about the MSRP in the U.S. market and then into what you're offering with the TAW show price. And then let's jump into some of the colors for the ladies' options. Absolutely. You know, the MSRP in the U.S. runs from 325 up to 365 based on stainless steel, yellow gold, and rose gold options. Uh, for TAW, we have one price, one fantastic price of $124.99, and I believe that's an incredible value for your consumers. So moving beyond beyond price, and by the way, thank you for being so aggressive on, on the price point because obviously a lot of our guys are going to look for the, the gifts for the, uh, the the significant others and so on. But then for the girls in the audience, uh, one of the things I, I'd like to, to jump into as we also get into the colors and is, in fact, even before the colors, the K shape on this is so unusual. How did you guys arrive at that? Tim, let me just show you this trapezoid case. Yeah. You know, 34 by 35. The inspiration, where else? coming from the shoes. And if I turn that shoe just over, they call the shoe the Emma. The watch is called the Emma, it's the Papillon. Perfectly sized, we basically took one of their luxury shoes and just miniaturized it into a watch. But at the same time, we had to make a watch that was wearable. We had to make it comfortable and we had to make it look beautiful. And that's what we've done here. The curve of the case, the sizing, the thickness, the cabochon, all the different colors. This is a very, very wearable, fashionable, fantastic color piece. So let's, speaking of color, let, let's walk through them because you've done some pretty cool stuff. Like I love that white with the red, but then beyond that, you, you've already mentioned you do some gold layerings. This is some beautiful work. Yep. Same thing again with the stainless. Comes in a classic black, really just really sleek and, and, and beautiful. Into the yellow, into the yellow gold, a beautiful kind of royal blue, almost like a cobalt royal. Same thing on hunter green, rich, very rich for the fall. 
and they're going for the chocolate brown on a rose gold. Highest MSRP, again, same price for TAW, $124.99. I mentioned about the curvature in the case. As I turn around, I see a thickness on this trapezoid. Slight curvature, just beautiful, fits perfectly on a wrist. Screw down case back, great water resistancy. The cabochon, again, has a burgundy cabochon. Every women's watch uses the burgundy or the Bordeaux colors of Bruno Mali, just to give it that extra little panache. You look at the clasp, again, the Mali symbol, I don't know if you can see it, if we can zoom in. Yeah. That, that Mali signature is right there. If you go on the back of the strap, and again, apologize if my off, again, you see Dial 1936 is when Bruno Mali, we mentioned before, 80 years, established in 1936. Of course, everything is stamped with genuine Italian leather. So when you look at this watch, you know the quality is there. On the dial, once again, Swiss movement, the entire line, Swiss movement, Italian leather straps, there is some fantastic value here. You know, I'm I thinking about the, the concept of, of high-end designer and so on. One of the things I'm curious about is how easy was Bruno Mali to work with, given that they were designer legends prior to delving into luxury wristwatches? Great question. I mean, they have been really fantastic. They knew that, you know, to expand from just a shoe wear or footwear business was really the key to them going into the next century, into, into the, to the retails. And they're really a lifestyle brand. You know, they have the watches with them for a number of years with us. They have tailored clothing, they have fragrances, they have small leather goods, they have belts. They said, they, and you know, we work with them hand in hand. We were, I mentioned before, we work with, with the footwear companies to design these watches, to have the right elements. But we're all working together. All the companies work together to really promote the lifestyle the way we want it to be. And that's really upper, upper echelon in terms of the luxury. And I think we're doing a great job working together as a team and as a family. And it's been a long time ago when Bruno Mali and his siblings started the business. But we like to try to think that we're carrying on to tradition. And, um, individual companies work together to design a real a real brand. Well, one well, of the well, things that, that I think will be immediately advantageous for you guys is that Bruno Mali is, a, for anyone in the luxury brands, for lack of a better word, a household name. You don't have to fight the, we have to get this famous kind of a marketing. People want this brand. They know this brand. And to have this made now so factory direct through TAW, so accessible, so affordable is, in my view, a huge advantage. Let's move to some of the guy stuff. Um, I'm wearing, for example, the one in the in the blue on the white. And uh, again, just to get a, a pattern down, if we could start with the MSRP for this model, uh, if you could just uh, name the model for us and then the uh, US MSRP and then the TAW price point. Absolutely, I mean, going, going on to men, let me just hold up a moment. This is the Dante, beautiful chronograph version. We'll talk about all the specs in a moment. MSRP is 595. Of course, the US, again, we mentioned that we're in 60 doors internationally, fantastic, fantastic placement. We're doing $189.99 for TAW. $5.95 MSRP on all the colors, $189.99 for TAW on all four varieties of this. Of this and, and I hope you guys are picking up on that because this is a $600 Bruno Mali. You guys are picking up for $189. And I didn't say this right at the top of this segment, so I'll say it now. Shipping is included on all of this. So you guys are saving not only from the MSRP to the show, uh, obviously with the, uh, the, the retails, but the shipping as well, it's something that we try to do whenever possible at, at TAW. And I also believe I'm correct in saying this is the lowest price in the United States right now on these products. I'm pretty sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, same thing as we mentioned with the ladies, full Swiss line. We're talking about Ronda Swiss course movement. And of course, again, genuine Italian leather straps. It's all stamped. You have the Italian leather stamping on the back of the strap. You have the Swiss course movement on the front of the dial. Anywhere you turn, you have the Bruno Mali crest both on the case pack. You have the Bruno Mali crest both on the front of the deployment class. Let's not forget that deployment class, great for the safety, great for the durability of your strap. None of that pulling and pushing in terms of the hang buckle. Set your watch, make it fit comfortably on your wrist, and move forward with it. So anytime you turn, you're just, you're just bumping into that rich history of Bruno Mali. And I just love learning about the company. I mean, I, I didn't have a family crest, Jim. I'm not sure if you have a family crest. But when I heard about the Bruno family crest, I was like, let me look into this. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting what went on back then and how, how important it was for reputation and the quality and the craftsmanship of what they were doing. It wasn't just about making some shoes and selling them. It's really about the family name and values that went into every single pair. And like I said, we're just trying to do our small part of carrying on that, uh, that heritage. Well, let, let me uh, ask you, I don't think we've actually gone through the, the, the colors. So let's go through the different case finishes and the strap options. Absolutely. And again, the one that we just started with, you know, blue, almost like a smoky gray blue strap. Um, the dial is a blue gradient. So you see a little different shades of blue as you go through it. 
um, two concentric circles. And I have to interject if I, I just for one. I think this dial, that blue, is amazing. When you guys see this in person, you'll understand why I'm such a fan of it. I, you know, Tim, I couldn't agree more. Sometimes you just look at a, a watch or a piece of jewelry and it makes you happy. And when I look at this watch, it just brings this emotion over me. I love, love, love this watch. This is, a, like you said, the dial itself, and then when you pair that with the blue strap, if you're if you're a fan of the blue, of the, of the blue family color, you are going to love this. It's 22 millimeters wide on the strap. Um, the case is 42 millimeters and it's 12 millimeters thick. So if I just quickly just turn it for a moment, you see that thickness. It's not oversized in terms of the case, but it gives you that height. I mean, what is the size on this case, by the way? 42. 42 million is on the case. Wow, it plays larger on the wrist than a 42. I got to tell you that. It definitely does. When you that is because of the height, Tim. When you look look at that height, when you wear that on with a sport jacket or a suit, yeah, it fits beautifully under the under the jacket, but it just peeks out and it just makes people say, "Hey, what do you wear?" It just gives that little glint, and all of a sudden you got that whole conversation piece going. Um, it's, you don't have to really throw it in people's faces; they see it peeking out from there. Um, I love the next the next color as well. I just love this, almost like this, again, Bordeaux is, is really the color of the brand. So we like to use a lot of Bordeaux, a lot of dark browns, rose gold. And again, you have that dark brown dial. So you have the rose gold and the browns and the Bordeaux all blending in just beautifully. Just a beautiful, seamless kind of transition between yeah. the two colors. Um, another one is really classic is, again, you have your black strap and just your white dial. So that's just classic, simple, sleek, elegant. Again, of course, everything with the Bruno. And then the final one, which is also beautiful, is yellow gold and a tan beige strap. So again, a little bit different. I, I don't see this color combination too often, but what I love about this is when you have a lighter strap, all those markings, the lighter dial, the white dial, all those markings just pop out even more. The Bruno Mali crest, the Bruno Mali logo, the stamping of Italian, it's right there in front of you. So it really highlights when you have that lighter shading. You know what I think is really cool on this is, and I'll mention two things here uh, very quickly. One is when you guys are layering in rose gold or you're layering in yellow gold, the entire example is wrapped in gold, whereas a lot of brands will not do that to save the money on the back and they just do straight up steel, which I get in a sense because no one's really going to see that but the owner. This is a watch that if you were to take it off, you were to show it to somebody or if they just happen to see it, no matter what angle, it appears to be this solid block of gold. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And you know what? The reason why we've done this is we couldn't do it any other way. We're held to the standards of Bruno Mali. And, you know, if we try to cut corners, we would be called out on it, not only by them, but we'd be called out by the customers. So we knew that going in. And, and there, the point that you brought up, most people may or may not know that. We say, hey, we're not taking a chance. We're doing it 100 percent to perfection. And that's what, we, that's what we've done here as well. And all these little nuances that really tie into the shoes, I really hope and I know if you look at the actual case here, something I point out, they're stitching on the front and they're stitching on the back. That's an homage, an ode to the shoe stitching. Little things, when people look at it, and they, they may not even see it when they purchase it. Little things when they get it, they put it on and say, hey, that's kind of interesting stitching. And then they go to the website, they go to brunomale.com, they go to taw. You know, talk about watches, they'll find this out. It'll be an extra value add after the post-purchase. The other thing yeah, I mentioned, in, in, because I, I want to move on to our next example here, is I love the single deployment class. And the deployment like this has really preserves your luxury. Great. Again, Tim, great point. And even though these straps are really beautifully thick, and, you know, look at that. Look at that tapering, a little bit thicker in the beginning. But still, you don't, any type of strap, you really want to use that deployment class if possible. And again, it's a value add. It, of course, it's a little bit more expensive for us to manufacture with the deploying versus a tank buckle, but it's worth it. It's going to keep the straps in perfect condition from the first day to the last day. You really can wear this all season, all year round, any type of weather. Uh, we are selling this all over the world in Puerto Rico and more tropical areas. Everything is just working out fantastically. And again, the deploying class was a perfect um, uh, reason to do it like that. A lot of you are fans of the bigger luxury watches, but you have the workplace or the suit or something like that. This is the perfect solution, um, as you can see. So on that note, let's go ahead and move to the next. And we're going to move now, I think it's fair to say, to a bit of a, a higher tier, both from a price point aspect as well as a complication aspect, because the next piece we're going to look at is a moon phase. So, uh, Shimmy, if you would, can we again talk about the U.S. Uh, MSRP and then the uh, TAW price point, and we'll delve into the watch. Absolutely. Again, this is this watch is named the Otanta. 
Um, a tanta is 80 in Italian, and we do this for, again, we mentioned before, the 80th anniversary of Bruno Mali, which was a couple years ago. We, we joined with, with Bruno Mali. This is really one of the first pieces that we wanted to produce for them, really celebrate their 80th anniversary. A lot of hoopla, not too many brands can say that they're 80 years old. Um, so this is the Otante. It's a limited, limited edition. This piece is a 1295 MSRP, you know, US MSRP, but TAW is 499. So 1295, 495 for TAW, 499.99, excuse me. And I hate to say this, this is limited edition, one of 100. Some pieces have sold, but we reserved a nice few pieces for TAW customers. It comes in a black strap alligator pattern, st stainless steel, both a polished and brushed case, four-piece construction. If you just if you look through the case, you'll notice it's the same case we've shown for the Dante, with just a few extra riches in terms of the dial and the complications, and we can go through those. But the Otan did 80 years celebrating fantastic craftsmanship over eight decades. Same thing, 42. I'm telling you guys, it's it's it, looks, it looks bigger. I mean, that height, and it just sits there. If, you, if I just turn it over quickly, you have the B Bruno on the cat on the, on the crown. You have the crest. I mean, this is really, and again, if, you, if, you put, if I put that on for you, I mean, it just sits, look at that, you know, right above the wrist. Yeah. You know, it just, it just really fits beautifully. Of course, the strap is going to mold perfectly to your wrist. Um, this is a complicated timepiece. This, yeah, yeah. uh, this has a day, date register, full moon phase, and also has a week of the year. And I love that. The week register actually runs counterclockwise. And if you're in the retail business, everything is going based on the weeks of the year. So week 24, week 28, week 50, it all revolves around Christmas. And we're in the, obviously we do a little retail, we do a little wholesale, but you know we love that because it all kind of goes to the holiday season, to the gift season, and that's on the outer edge of the, of the dial. But I love that functionality. It goes counterclockwise, has a beautiful Bruno Mali and Boss you know, uh, pointer. And this is a, you know, a beautiful ivory dial. It's just a fantastic, complicated timepiece. Again, full Swiss Ronda course movement, Ronda Norm Tech. Um, this is a fantastic piece, Tim. We have such a, a great, uh, for lack of a better word, of opportunity here to own this for a fraction of retail. And remember, guys, we do have PayPal credit. So if you like the idea of what you think of as, as six pay, if you want interest free payments, that's certainly an option at checkout at talkaboutwatches.com. First look at this, and of course, we're bringing up the various shots of this dial. At first glance, and I'm in this camp too, I thought it was an outer track pointer date, but it's not. It does have the outer track pointer, but this one is exceptional. That's where you actually have the week of the year complication. And then on the subs is where we're finding the day of the week, the date of the month, and then as you've already pointed out, the moon phase. Yep, and this is a full moon phase. It's not an AM, PM indicator, which some watches right. have a great functionality, but this is a full 30-day moon phase. Day, day sub dials, and like you mentioned, the week of the year. I love the fact that even on the back, you have the limited edition number. This one has to be 21 out of 100, and these aren't going to ever be produced. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, we love it. They've, they've been selling fantastic. Uh, we're trying to be very cautious in terms of the pricing. We're not, you know, I believe again, as, as with all the deals, this is the lowest price it's ever been sold at for TAW customers only. Um, it hurts me. It hurts me to sell it so uh, so affordable for for limited edition. But you know, we want to do the right thing for the TAW. We know your consumers are real watch savvy consumers. They they know quality, and we want to be able to have them afford, you know, affordable for them. Well, it's, well, it's, it's something that you can attest to. Uh, obviously, I've, I've had several conversations with yourself and the team and Bruno Mali putting this together, and I appreciate that you guys were so open to being aggressive. Let's make a real splash, the first ever show with TAW. And the, the final quantity here is we're looking at this limited edition. I believe I'm correct in saying all 100 have been made. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So when these are gone, they're gone. And to own this at guaranteed lowest price in the United States, shipping included. And by the way, the packaging uh, on this, I don't happen to have it with me, but the packaging is phenomenal on all of these uh, Bruno Mali's. And I'm going to use that to uh, segue into our, our final example, because some of you are going to go, well, I really, if we're getting into the higher end stuff, we want Swiss automatics. The packaging in our final example tonight, it reminds me of a high-end cigar humidor would be the way I would initially uh, describe it. And I think so much, uh, Shimmy, when you think about uh, packaging, including luxury watch packaging, there's so many where you have the initial experience, but then ultimately you're going to store that packaging away, and then you put the watch in your collector's box or something like that. This packaging is so exceptional, it seems to me this is one that you do want to display on the dresser, on the coffee table, in the office, wherever it might be. 
Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the case for this is, is, is really, when you talk about a gift box and a keepsake, um, it truly is. It's full wood grain, plush line with the burgundy, again, with the burgundy colors of Bruno Mali. Um, this is a fantastic value in and unto itself. I mean, we could be selling these boxes um, by itself and people buy it just a store. And like I said, I love that example of the humidor because it does keep the temperature regulated, possibly, you know, um, but it looks just like, a, it's just like almost again, we tries the shoe box, the colors of the shoe box, the rectangular, the dimensions of the shape of a shoe box, bring it down into, into that type of um, watch holder. Um, it is fantastic. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring some, some boxes in in just a few moments, but they are fantastic looking boxes. So let's delve into the, the watch. This is the only exhibition back uh, in everything that we're going to look at uh, tonight. And uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, on the wrist. You can see how large uh, this plays. So on one hand, we'll show you the millimeter. But as you can see visually, again, this becomes quite spectacular on the wrist. And here's an example. Earlier, I referenced how Bruno Malik will do classic, but there's still this panache to it. There's this real forward thinking to the, the design. This watch is a great example of that. So, uh, Shimmy, again, if you could walk through the uh, MSRP for the U.S. market and then the uh, TAW special price. Absolutely. 1895 MSRP for this Otanta. Again, called the Otanta, the Otanta Automatic. It was also produced the same year as the 80th anniversary, so we produced it at the same time as the, as the Swiss courts run, the Norm Tech that we just mentioned. But this is an automatic Salida movement, 1895 MSRP, 699 for TAW consumers. So 699 off of 1895 MSRP. This is again a Salida automatic movement. Look at that exhibition case back, Tim. This has 31 jewels. It has a power reserve of it has a power reserve of 30 hours. Um, so again, we all know how the automatics work with the movement of your wrist, but you can take that watch off, take it off for a few hours, up to 30 hours. It'll be fully Swiss precision wound, ready to go when you're ready to pick that back up again. Again, well, the one of the I want to delve into, if we can, on this one uh, immediately, uh, a lot of you guys are used to the, the three-hand uh, Salida movements, and you've seen them in a variety of price points, including, by the way, price points that have been well in excess of uh, this offer, being the lowest price in the United States. But moving beyond the, the luxury of Bruno Mali, I would just talk about two key things here on, on the dial. Dial is very understated. It's a matte almost a flat finish, which I think is really cool in this aspect. But I'm going to point to two things. One of them is the quick set date. Now, some of you will immediately say, yes, well, we've seen that, and I agree, but you haven't seen my second point very often, and this is the Salida effort where you have the offset quick second down near the, uh, the, the six, which I think really, A, sets us apart for collectors, and B, what an elegant uh, presentation. It's almost, to me, reminiscent of some of the ultra-high-end uh, German builds and Swiss builds in the gentleman's market. Absolutely. And Tim, you know, we said we're really not going to be doing too many automatics for Bruno Mali. When we do it, especially for the 80th anniversary, we want to do it right and we want to do it different. And like you said, it's something unique, something to talk about, something to show your friends and family. And that's why we chose this Alita automatic movement. Um, again, the case itself, the same case as before, brushed and polished 42 and 12 in terms of thickness. But like you said, those little additions to the automatic Alita, a little bit out of the ordinary. That's what we were going for, and you hit, you hit it right on the nail in terms of what we were thinking in terms of the production and design. Well, I think that this becomes immediately a, a, a kind of a, a standalone be, because of that. And it, it's a fine line because I'm a huge fan of outlandish uh, wristwatches, and I have been for years. But with that stated, I'm also a fan of those that can do something that's very elegant but still make it visually interesting. And I think that's what Bruno Mali has uh, achieved in this piece. Um, they didn't make it too small. Uh, it's a classic 42 that actually plays larger, which means everybody's going to love this. And I think it's that offset second that it's, on one hand, a fairly minor thing. Some people would, would view it, but mechanically, it really sets itself apart, so the watch guys love it. And then when you look at the aesthetics in the, the finished dial, it just makes it special. It makes it different. And when you guys have this opportunity to not only own it from the mechanical watch guy aspect, but you're looking at this to own Bruno Mali, the luxury is there and at a guaranteed lowest price in the United States. This is really a spectacular opportunity to own something built along these lines. Exactly. Again, step dial, very classic Roman numerals, the sub the sub seconds, fantastic. Even on the exhibition case pack, gold, 24 karat gold plated rotor with the Bruno Mali linked on right on right stamped right on top. Um, this is a beautiful piece, Swiss made. Fully Swiss made this item, but the same thing with the previous Otanta. 
Um, these are fantastic, fantastic pieces. As Bruno Mali with the crest, Val 1936, we already talked about, four screws in the case back, four piece construction on the case. Again, we mentioned before, brush and polish. And again, that stitch pattern, both on the front of the case and on the back, really, you, we never want someone to remember where, we we'll forget where our roots are. Our roots are in the shoes. And these watches are just fantastic extensions of the company's uh, main line. You know, being the ever aspiring watch guy, I, I got to point out something that is, I think we had it in the graphics, but I, I'm going to verbally get into it. A lot of you are familiar with the Salita SW200. That's not what this is. This, now for those, the record, uh, that one is a 26 joule, and they did that to stand apart from the Eta 2824, which is the 25 joule. This piece is a 31 joule. And obviously, moving that second hand down near the six has a great deal to do with that. So this is not just a, a rehash. This is a different build from the ground up mechanically, which is certainly going to be of interest to any of the watch guys and watch girls beyond the fact that this is the powerhouse luxury brand. You know, Tim, I have to justify the limited edition. You know, we could just take any watch and say we're only making 100 or only making 200. I could put a 68 out of 100 on the back. But what really makes it limited? And again, when you're talking about the Salida movement and when we, when we reviewed all the different movements that we want to use and the different construction and the different functionality, that's why we came upon what we did. Um, really to justify the limited edition and feel good about it. And you know what? We make those 100 and when they're gone, they are gone. So, guys, please take advantage of this. We're going to uh, wrap this up here in the next uh, a minute or so. But when you're you're looking at this, uh, the dial I mentioned, near flat finish, but it has almost like a like a green, like a very fine sand grain to it. It's a goldenrod color, a very light parchment color. The outer track is mirror polished. So you get this really cool infinity effect around the very outside. And the the what we call the markers, which are actually Roman numerals, those are raised. And they are polished, so I believe they've actually got a little bit of gold treatment on them as well. So they just flash, and there's this glint that goes on. Uh, the hands are polished, and uh, that's by way of contrast to the sweep second. Uh, the sweep second is actually done in a flat black. There's a lot of detail. The more that you're into physical design of a wristwatch beyond the mechanical brilliance, you can start to see where Bruno Mali really does become the uh, the standout. So let's do this if we can. Let's recap this uh, uh, very quickly and we'll uh, wrap this up. Uh, this segment, we open with a, a very cool watch for the uh, ladies market. Absolutely. Again, we talked about the Emma's retails ranging from 325 to 365. TAW consumers, 124.99. Comes in a red, blue, green, hunter green, black and chocolate brown. And we didn't specifically get into this earlier, but I'll mention it very quickly. The reason that the retail is different is Bruno Mali does charge for gold layering. Some high-end companies do, and they're one of them. With that stated, your choice, white, yellow, or rose, one price guaranteed lowest in the U.S. here through uh, TAW, which is very cool. So moving beyond that, the next thing we got into was uh, moving into the 42s, which I promise you will play larger. Uh, we got into a very rich, elegant gentleman's watch. Absolutely. The Dante 595 MSRP come in four different colors for TAW. And again, today we have it for $189.99. I just gave you the colors again. Again, blue on blue. The burgundy with a rose gold. Again, getting that extra rose gold value. Yellow gold with a tan. And then the very always classic black strap, silver tone case. Beautiful blue Arabic numerals. You can really see that uh, horizontal texture too, almost like a, a vertical blind, which I know doesn't necessarily sound elegant, but I'm telling you, in person, it's stunning. It really is. You guys are going to like this. This one is the uh, moon phase, of which only 100 exists. Yeah, you definitely can't ignore this one. The, the Swiss Porsche Rana Norm Tech, one of 100. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. The moon phase, the day to day. We talked about the week register. Fantastic complications, fantastic sizing. This was again 1295 MSR, 1295 MSRP. We're going for 499.99 for TAW. Again, we mentioned include shipping, fantastic value. And keep in mind when you're looking at that watch, the outer track is not an outer track pointer data. Initially, I thought it was too, but it isn't. That's an outer track week of the year. And then you'll also get the day of the week, the date of the month, and the 29 and a half day moon phase, and of course the time of day. That's a beautifully complicated watch. Okay, now. We're going to talk about the 31 Joule Salita. Uh, this one also, only 100 were made for the world. I love the understated elegance of this piece. 
I couldn't agree more. It's in 1895 MSRP. Six ninety nine ninety nine for TAW. Again, of course, includes shipping. That comes in that rich, heavy, beautiful wood grain keepsake signature limited edition box. Um, again, same sizing, just fantastic, simple, elegant, and Tim. I really couldn't describe it any better than you have. You look at this, you don't even know what makes it so beautiful, but it is a work of art. And the more you stare at it, the more little nuances come out in terms of the dial, the size, the polish and, and, and brush, polish and brush finish. Um, just even looking at the case back, how many people just love to stare through that exhibition case back and look at the movement and see that spring wheel going around? Um, really fantastic, fantastic piece. Alligator, alligator grain Bordeaux dial, beautiful, just beautiful. This is really <laughs> wonderful stuff. We're, we're going to wrap this segment up. Obviously, we've got a lot of these pieces starting to move. Keep in mind, by the way, that you can pick your choice simply by hitting the link off to the side, whether you're watching on YouTube Live or on Facebook Live. And we're going to leave this pricing available for a while. The sooner you act, the better, because obviously I cannot control sellouts and a lot of these for the obvious reason of the guaranteed lowest price in the U.S. on Bruno Mali, no less. Certainly well. Shimmy, thanks for being on the show, man. We appreciate that. Dan, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much.